Have you ever wondered what it takes to make it in the big city, pursuing your dreams with an unwavering spirit and an unforgettable smile? The Mary Tyler Moore Show, a classic TV series from the 1970s, brought this question to life, captivating audiences with its witty humor and endearing characters. Now, here's a couple of questions to ponder. What classic Hollywood actor in this TV series was your favorite? And out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? But before we dive into that, let's set the stage with a few random facts about the show. The Mary Tyler Moore Show was a groundbreaking series known for its portrayal of an independent and career-driven woman, Mary Richards, who worked at WJN-TV in Minneapolis. The show not only delivered laughs, but also tackled serious social issues of the era, making it a cultural touchstone. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Did it inspire you in some way, or perhaps you have a funny story to share about a particular episode? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, let's get the conversation started and reminisce about this timeless classic. What was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in the show? Or which character made you laugh the most? Share your thoughts and stories with us. The Mary Tyler Moore Show from 1970 was a classic television series. One interesting fact about the show is that a three-minute mini-pilot called Love Is All Around was made to convince CBS Network executives to cast Edward Asner as Lou Grant. This fact highlights the behind-the-scenes effort to shape the cast of the show, demonstrating the importance of Asner's role in the series. The mini-pilot served as a crucial element in the show's development, showcasing the show's dedication to finding the right actors for their characters. It's just one example of the many stories and decisions that went into making the Mary Tyler Moore Show the iconic series it became. The Mary Tyler Moore Show, a popular 1970 TV series, is known for various interesting facts. One notable detail is that in the show's opening credits, the two joggers who pass Mary in the park are producers James L. Brooks and Alan Burns. The gray-haired man Mary has lunch with and takes an evening walk with his Mary Tyler Moore's then-husband Grant Tinker, who was the president and co-founder of MTM. The woman who scowls at Mary as she tosses her hat is a local resident named Hazel Frederick. This show was set in a Victorian apartment building at the fictional address of 119 North Weatherly, where characters like Mary, Rhoda, and Phillies lived. It was also a successful show that earned Ed Asner an Emmy Award for his portrayal of Lou Grant. What's remarkable is that Asner won the Best Supporting Actor for a Comedy Series Emmy for his role in The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and later won the Best Lead Actor for a Drama Series for playing the same character, Lou Grant, in the spin-off series Lou Grant. He remains the only actor to achieve this unique distinction. These facts add a layer of intrigue to the show's history and highlight the talent and connections of those involved, making The Mary Tyler Moore Show a memorable part of television history. The Mary Tyler Moore Show, a popular 1970 TV series, is known for its memorable characters and moments. One interesting fact about the show is that Mary Tyler Moore herself had dreams of becoming a ballet dancer, much like her character on the series. In one episode titled Hail the Conquering Gordy, Mary confesses her failed ballerina aspirations to Ted, played by Ted Knight. After Ted leaves, Mary briefly attempts a dance move, the relive before realizing the craziness of her dreams. This instance reflects how the show's creators drew on the actors' real-life histories to shape their characters. Another notable fact is that Jack Cassidy was offered the role of Ted Baxter, but turned it down because he didn't want to be part of the supporting cast of a female-led show. However, he later guest-starred as Ted's brother on the show. Additionally, Ed Asner, who played Lou Grant, admitted to ongoing competition between the male actors on the show to be Mary Tyler Moore's favorite. Evidence of this can be seen in the MTN gag reel, where all three men sing Johnny Mathai's Moore as an ode to Mary, showing their camaraderie. The gag reel is available for viewing online. These facts shed light on the behind-the-scenes dynamics and personal influences that contributed to the success of the Mary Tyler Moore show in the 1970s. In the 1972 V series The Mary Tyler Moore Show, there was an interesting change made in one of the episodes. Originally, Mary was supposed to have a tattoo removed, but Mary Tyler Moore, in real life, refused, citing her Catholic upbringing as the reason. They changed it to a tonsillectomy instead. 
This show was not the first time Mary Tyler Moore and Edward Asner worked together. They had previously co-starred in Change of Habit with Elvis Presley. The writers of the show had plans for a serious, multi-episode romantic relationship between Lou and Mary. However, Mary objected to the idea, deeming it inappropriate. They settled for just one episode, Mary Dates Lou, which aired in the last season right before the series finale in 1977. These behind-the-scenes tidbits add depth to the history of the Mary Tyler Moore show, showing how real-life considerations and actor decisions influenced the course of the show. The Mary Tyler Moore Show, a 1970 TV series, holds a special place in television history. It was voted 11 on TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Shows of All Time, a testament to its enduring popularity. Originally, the show was supposed to be about a divorced woman, but in 1970, divorce was a sensitive topic. To avoid any confusion with Mary Tyler Moore's previous role as a married woman on The Dick Van Dyke Show, the concept changed to a broken engagement. This adjustment kept the network at ease. One interesting fact about the show is that Betty White, who portrayed Sue Ann Nivens, was initially intended to appear in just one episode. However, her character became so popular that she was promoted to a series regular. These elements contributed to the success of the Mary Tyler Moore show, making it a beloved classic in television history. In the 1970 TV series The Mary Tyler Moore Show, there's an interesting story about the audition process. Gavin MacLeod and Edward Asner both auditioned for the part of Lou Grant. Asner's first reading was so bad that he insisted on a second chance, which eventually landed him the role. This behind-the-scenes tidbit sheds light on how casting decisions played a pivotal role in the show's success. The show also had a momentous impact on television history. In one episode, Robert Moore, who played Ben, Phyllis' brother, dated Rhoda, portrayed by Valerie Harper. Later, Robert Moore would direct Valerie Harper in Rhoda, the spin-off of The Mary Tyler Moore Show. This connection is significant as it marked a milestone in TV history when Rhoda's famous He's Gay. Punchline was uttered, marking the first time such a topic was openly discussed on television. This reflects the show's willingness to push boundaries and address important social issues. Additionally, the closing credits of the show feature a meowing kitten, Mimsy, which parodies the roaring lion that appears at the beginning of MGM films. This playful touch added a unique and memorable element to the show. Interestingly, Mimsy was adopted from a local shelter, reflecting the show's commitment to animal welfare. In conclusion, The Mary Tyler Moore Show is not just a classic sitcom, but also a show with a rich history of auditions, groundbreaking moments, and even a furry feline star in its closing credits. These aspects contribute to its enduring legacy in the world of television. As we bid adieu to the Mary Tyler Moore Show, it's time to take a step back and reflect on the profound impact this iconic 1970s TV series has had on our lives. This timeless show, with its witty humor and unforgettable characters, has not just entertained, but it has woven itself into the fabric of our memories. Whether it's Mary Richards' resilience and independent spirit, Lou Grant's gruff exterior with a heart of gold, or the lovable chaos of the newsroom, we've all found something to connect with. The show's portrayal of women in the workplace, its exploration of friendship and camaraderie, and its ability to tackle serious issues with humor and grace have left an indelible mark. Now, it's your turn to share your favorite memories, the moments that made you laugh until your sides hurt or touched your heart. Did you ever dream of tossing your hat into the air just like Mary? Did you find inspiration in her journey? Or perhaps you resonated with the quirky dynamics of the WJM newsroom? Tell us your cherished memories and thoughts about The Mary Tyler Moore Show. How did this show shape your perspective, entertain you, or make you feel a part of something special? Thank you for taking the time to reminisce and share your thoughts. Your unique perspective adds a vibrant thread to the rich tapestry of Mary's world. We look forward to hearing from you, and until then, keep smiling, just like Mary did.